At the top it says, I ran the numbers, Dad. We can afford a pony. <laughs> All right, Chloe, <laughs> Chloe, incredible. All right, Chloe, you ready to start? Should we welcome everyone? I'm going, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see, there we are. Say hello to everyone and we can welcome, welcome them to this live English session. All right, here she comes, the guest of the moment. <laughs> hello, Chloe, can you hear me all right? Yes, I can hear you. All right. Okay. So, what would you like to say to everyone that's watching? Well, I don't know yet, actually, but I'll let you talk first since you're <laughs> actually doing the live, so you talk first. Okay. Well, we can just say welcome to everyone. And I say this that, um, you know, I can teach. But if there are no students to listen, then it gets kind of quiet in here. <laughs> and it's no fun talking to myself. So thank you to everyone who's joining. And so my name is Michael. This is my daughter, Chloe. And we're going to do another lesson today. We'll do it in three parts. And I will switch my screen in a moment to let you know. All right, Chloe. So thank you for dropping in with your beautiful pink headphones. All right, do you have anything else to say or shall I get started with the lesson? Go ahead, start with the lesson. Okay, that means I have to kick you out. <laughs> okay, thank you, Chloe. Bye. Okay, all right, so let's get started. We're going to jump in. I'm going to switch my camera. We're going to get in right away. All right. Okay. So, let's focus quick. It was working all right before. Yes. So, welcome, everyone. All right. Okay. So, today we're going to do three things. We're going to do an inspirational quote, explore a meme, and invite viewers live. All right. So, let's jump in right away and get started. Here is the quote from for today. So I will say it, and then you guys repeat out loud. And if you repeat it out loud, then give me some apples in the comments and show me that you practiced your pronunciation. All right, here's the quote. As you think, so shall you become. All right, so the quote is, as you think, so shall you become. All right, if you repeat it out loud after me, show me some apples in the comments. The words aren't very difficult today, but I think the, the quote is very good. So first, I'm going to show you who actually said the quote. How about this? I won't wait too long. Uh, I won't wait too long, but does anybody have a guess who said this quote? And once again, the quote is, as you think, so shall you become. Hmm, it's a very famous person. He's Chinese. Uh, let's see, what else? He is a movie star. Well, he's dead now, but he was a movie star. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the picture, and you guys tell me if you recognize who it is. All right. Who could be the first one to tell me who this guy is? Very, very, very famous guy, right? So does anyone know who this is? All right. Ah, English with Abdullah says Bruce Lee. Of course it's Bruce Lee. So he actually was, he has a lot of great quotes. I was surprised when I was looking around. So uh, the quote is, as you think, so shall you become. All right. When I first saw this quote, it made me think of kind of another quote. And I'm going to type it down below. You are what you eat. <laughs> Has anyone ever heard this quote before? You are what you eat. 
the idea the idea is that what we put into our body um, if it, you are what you eat so if you eat healthy food you're probably going to be healthy right um, what the the thoughts we have in our mind what we focus on what we think about that's going to have a very strong effect on what we become right so Bruce Lee, in his wisdom, his wise words, as you think, so shall you become. So if we're constantly thinking about horrible things and things are going to be bad and <laughs> things are going to be terrible, then there's a pretty good chance that they will be bad because we've already trained our mind to see bad things. If we have more of a positive outlook, then it's more, much more possible that possible positive things will happen. See, Ahmed Fadi, 2002, I think it talks about what you eat from the actions and experiences you meet. Sure. English with Abdullah said every dietitian in 2019. <laughs> yes. All right. So, I'm going to put in a few words uh, what this quote means. See if I can put it up here. All right. So, in longer words, let's see if you guys can see it. Okay. So, what we think about affects our future and ability to improve. Right? All right. Uh, Ahmed Fadi, 2002, Dishes of Life. Ooh. Very deep, very deep. Okay, so this is the quote for today. As you think, so shall you become. And it was said by the great Bruce Lee. All right. Okay, well, let's move on to explore a meme. Hmm. So first off, we have to review what is a meme. A meme is something such as a video, picture, or phrase that a lot of people send to each other on the internet. All right? And when we say the word, it's not mem, mem. <laughs> it's meme, right? And let's see, I'll show you the example meme, and then we'll, we'll do another one that we haven't seen yet, okay? All right, here we go. So this is the example. I think I showed this to you last time. Coffee is ready! Right, so it's kind of funny because the girl, her reaction and her body pose and all that, she's moving because she wants to run so fast, right? So the meme is coffee's ready. So she just found out about it and she's off. At the drop of a hat, she's running. All right, so let's see the meme for today. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is clear enough for you to see. So in the picture, we'll start with the picture this time. I'll describe it to you, and, and I'll use English, and then we'll talk about what it says. So the picture is of a little girl, a cute little girl, and she has glasses on, and she's looking directly in the camera, right? Looks like the girl has red, red, cut, red hair or maybe brown hair, and she has a long sleeve either sweatshirt or a long sleeve T-shirt. And she's sitting in what I would say is probably a home office. And how do we know that's an office? Well, in the background, there's a printer. Looks like there are some files on top. And there's a laptop computer, or you could say a notebook computer on the desk. And, uh, yeah, so she's very serious. She's focused on what she needs. At the top, it says, I ran the numbers, Dad. We can afford a pony. <laughs> So if we say ran the numbers, ran the numbers is, let me just quick change my English settings. Okay. Whoop. Ran the numbers is just a, another way to say you, you did the calculations. Uh, she could say, I did the calculation or calculations and, you know, I looked at the numbers, I looked at the prices, I looked at everything, and guess what, Dad? We can afford a pony. Can anyone tell me 
what the word afford means. So at the bottom part of the picture, all right, Ahmed Fadi, 2002, deal with numbers as an accountant, right? So sure, she's like a mini accountant, right? <laughs> can anybody tell me what the word afford means? So it says, we can afford a pony. And just to make sure that we're all on, have the same idea what is a pony, let me show you a picture of a pony. All right, so these are like My Little Pony. Uh, a pony is basically a kind of horse, right? A little bit different, so that's a pony. All right, so Azin MRD says to be able to pay for something, right? So if we can afford something, English with Abdullah, be able to pay for something, Rolfo Matosusa, I'd say you can buy something, right? AK Ash 8552 to make it possible. Right, right. Okay. And in this situation, we're talking about money, right? Because the pony is not free. They have to pay for it. Um, we could also use afford with time. You could say, I can afford the time. Um, I think afford is more commonly used with money, but time is very precious as well. So if you can afford the time, you know, I can take the time to do something. So I guess this is the meme for today, and it's a cute meme, right? It's kind of funny, and it's a little girl who is probably not advanced enough to actually <laughs> be able to do this stuff. So, But when she says that she ran the numbers, she's probably trying to copy an adult and what an adult would say. So I ran the numbers, Dad. We can afford a pony. All right. Okay. All right, so let's do a pronunciation on this one. I'll read the top and the bottom. You guys repeat after me, and I'll pause and wait for you. I ran the numbers, Dad. We can afford a pony. Okay. All right, let's see. English with Abdullah says, I can't afford to lose you as a teacher, Mike. Ah, oh, great example of using the word afford, right? All right, and thank you for the compliment. <laughs> the very, very nice compliment. All right, if you guys did pronunciation, show me some apples. I'll say it one more time. I ran the numbers, Dad. We can afford a pony. All right, Pray Endless says... <laughs> We cannot afford a pony. <laughs> All right. Rodolfo Matos Sousa, unfortunately, I got to get going. I'm running out of time. All right, no worries. I'm sure you guys are busy wherever you are in the world. All right. Hello to everyone that's coming in recently. And this is the meme that we just did for today. All right. Okay. No worries, Rodolfo. <laughs> I'll put the live, the live will be up for 24 hours too, as long as the app doesn't crash this time. Okay, Magenta Developer got two apples, all right. Okay, so that is the meme for today. And we did an inspirational quote. We did Explorer meme. And now it's time to invite viewers live. And See, Marissa McCarthy, afford, it means buy. Yes, afford means that you're able to buy something. So if you say, I can't afford it, means you're not able to buy it. Right. Okay. So I need to remind you, if you guys come with me live today, I record this, right? And I put it on YouTube because I like to put my stuff on YouTube so other people who are not able to be here right now can see, right? So just keep that in mind when you come live with me. I will later, I'll put it up on YouTube. And I think it's great for everyone that can, you know, be studying and learning English. So, all right, I already have some requests. And let me just scroll. Oh, yeah, I, I have pictures. Okay. So let's see who has requested to join. And all right, let me flip around. I'm back. Woo. Okay. All right. Let's see if 
Anyone wants to go live now? Okay, let's start right on the top. Pawani41413. I am adding you and see it says waiting for Pawani41413. Pray endless. I were a pony, I would run as a pony. <laughs> Hello. I see no person, but I see a background. Is anyone there? I will wait for a little bit, but I'm, there are other people that want to join too. So if you're not going to come live, then. <laughs> or maybe this is a trick. You're trying to get me to describe your environment. If I had to guess, I would say it's in the basement. There's a bright light shining on the ceiling. And I think there's a brown cabinet or a shelf on the wall. And looks like there might be a doorway. But I think I'm talking to myself. <laughs> and that's not the point. So I guess no one's coming. So I'm going to go to another person. All right. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Next on the list. All right. Mar. All right, let's go to Maharajan1369. Okay. T. Maria, I don't understand. Am I alone? <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, the person just declined. Okay. Let's go down and... All right, let's try someone that hasn't been able to do it before. I see you with English Abdullah. <laughs> yeah, I noticed you. It's just that we talked for quite a while last time. We'll see. All right, let's see. Atikan Maku says, where's your daughter? She was here at the beginning, and she already left to work on her project. Hello, sir. Hello. Can you hear me okay? Uh-oh. He left. By golly, we're going to have a conversation with someone. All right, so they left. All right, we'll try Hassan. Hassan's Laman 33. And if you guys want to join to get the request again, you have to leave, I think. Leave and then come back in. And once you come in, then it will pop up and give you the little thing that you can push to request. So right now, we're waiting for Hassan. Hassan S. Laman 3. If anybody wants to put in their request, you can go on there and we'll try to talk with a few people today. All right, we're still waiting. Hmm. Hmm. I think maybe I scared you guys by saying that I put these on YouTube, huh? Hmm. It's not meant to scare you. It's meant to help you guys, to help everyone who's learning and everybody who's watching and Stuff like that. Okay, Mary Zadkaran says, I want to talk. Great, send me a request. And I think to, to get the request button to pop up, you I think you leave for a second and come back to the live, and then it will be right there. All right, what time is it there? It says Kuala Bella 98. It is 7.19 p.m. All right. All right, English with Abdullah. You're the only one left. Everybody declined. So here we go. I'm waiting for English with Abdullah. You have strong internet. <laughs> okay, hello. What's up, Mike? All right, let's see. It's loading. All right, can you hear me okay? I think let's I can see. hear you I'm okay. I'm going to answer a comment. Ashtiani76. Okay, uh, someone just asked in the comments how to send a request. Um, I think when you first come into the live, it gives you the option to do a request. So if you don't see that option, maybe you can go out and then come back in. Um, Ab Abdullah, could you tell me, is that how you saw the request button? Hmm. You're on your mobile net, okay? All right. It's not. It's not. Doesn't seem to be very good connection. 
I'm back, right? You, you're back, and then you're freezing. <laughs> we could give it a try, but all right. Yeah, uh, I was on my on my home's network, and now I've just changed to my mobile network. So it's it must be all okay. And can you just share with everyone how you were able to push the request button? When did it pop up? Like uh, you were, you tried somebody else before me, and then uh, I think you accepted my request, and then it just came onto the middle of my screen, and I pressed OK. Okay. Actually, I didn't. I didn't press anything. It just like as soon as you confirmed my request, it it opened. And did you put your request in when you first came in? Uh. Like actually, ten minutes ago, when I first opened uh -huh. uh, your stream, I sent a request, okay. and then I think it it got in the queue. Okay. So. Okay. Well, and I'm just going to say this to everyone who's watching. Um, go ahead. You can put your request in the queue in the line, and I'll see it there. And after I finish with Abdullah, then we'll move on to the next person. Okay. But now my focus is on Mr. Abdullah. All right, and am I saying your name? Am I you. saying your name correctly? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's how you pronounce it in Turkish. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna. I think you know how this goes. We're gonna go straight to the picture, and you. Okay, let's do it. You tell me what's happening. All right, here we go. All right, and I'm gonna switch my screen. Here we go. Picture competition. All right, one moment. <coughs> I try to get it to focus. There we are. Oh, no. Okay. So, could you describe this picture for us? All right. We have a cheerful guy right here, and he has a thick beard. Uh, uh yeah. Bef to become, in order to become a quality investigator, I should start with the bigger detail, right? <laughs> bigger picture. Uh so first. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's get started with the atmosphere. Let's get started with his surroundings. I think he is he is at an office desk and there there's a computer at on his desk and some notes and even a sticker on his forehead and he's smiling probably laughing and nice thick Blonde and brownish beard and mustache and the done hair, white shirt. Um, something is open on a screen, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. I felt like. I mean, you just didn't make any sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here. I felt like I was disconnected. Ah, you're doing you're doing uh, great. Okay, let's be on. I think yeah, uh, the right bar, the right section on the screen is belongs to some photoshopping program, right? It looks like it to me. Yeah. He, yeah, he he must be doing some some. He must be doing some editing or photoshopping, right, on his picture. Okay. Maybe he works for a advertising brand or advertisement brand. Or maybe he's editing a magazine cover, right? Sure. Or a random page. Sure. Um, there is a, a pile of stickers, uh, stickers be, uh, underneath the screen, and. The guy is is you know why would why would you put a sticker on your forehead? <laughs> I mean, he's obviously having fun with him with some friend, maybe, and he's like he's all good. He's he's smiling, maybe even laughing, maybe, and he's in the good spirits. Okay. In a good mood. All right. So let me ask you some questions. Can you? Yeah. Can you tell me? <clears throat> Could you describe to me what direction is he facing? Like uh, he's he's facing directly to camera. I mean, uh, 
he is looking at the frame. He's looking at the objective, right? Sure, you could say he's he's, and, like, he's looking directly at us. Yeah, exactly, and he is leaning against his chair, right, like this. Sure, you could you could say he's leaning back in his chair. Leaning back or leaning against? Well, which one is correct? Technically, they're both correct. For example, I'm leaning against the wall, right? Uh huh. And he he's leaning against his chair, right? Sure. Um, if you if you would, would tell me that you're leaning against the wall, um, in my mind, I would think that you're standing. It might not be for sure, but it just pops into my brain that you're standing. If you tell me that you're leaning back, mm -hmm. if you're leaning back against your chair, then in my mind, the picture is that you're already sitting because you mentioned the chair, right? I see. Okay, and yeah, thanks for the clarification and explanation. I think this guy is from probably Sweden or Norway. I got I got the feeling that he is from Scandinavia. Okay. Uh, like one of must be must be from one of those Nordic countries, right? Like Norway, Sweden. It's um, yeah, maybe Finland. Very very possible. Yes. All right. So if this was, yeah. uh huh. If if this was a movie, uh, a a screenshot from a movie, what do you think the movie title would be? Uh, okay. What kind of name would I give this movie? Um, Happy Hour. <laughs> sure. Sure. I, or I'm, I mean, uh -huh. good, good, good wipes only. <laughs> sure. Sure. Maybe it could. Or it, I don't know. It could maybe even be like a suspense movie, and we'll call it "Happiness Before the Storm Comes" or something like that. <laughs> Happy, uh, the calm. Yeah, yeah. The calm before the the office storm or something. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Uh, or I mean, <clears throat> the co the happiness right before the right before his boss like shouts at him uh, because he's having too much fun and he got a little loose at work. Right. And he stopped working. Sure. And the boss is like, "Hey, get Maybe back to work." Too much time. I'm not. Uh, and the boss says, yeah, yeah. "Get back to work. I'm not paying you to joke around." Yeah. Right. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, and people rather at offices are taking selfies or nagging, right? Right. And trash talking, working, okay. like okay. not really earning their money. All right, we got to move forward. So I'm gonna flip it back around, and if you have a question for me, go ahead. <laughs> okay, my question to you is that, for example, um, this is very cliche, but. And we get to hear this from various YouTube channels and <clears throat> from media. Uh, it's 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 about ups and downs, but uh, it's not exactly that. I'd like to ask you: How do you maintain your positive your positive mindset, <laughs> and how do you maintain this? And you like you you smile and like from from your previous career. I assume that you. Uh, you are a strong will, or maybe uh, you have trained your mind. You have trained your mind. Sure. I, I, it's kind of unclear, but can you hear me? I'm going to go ahead and answer, okay? All right. I think the connection is getting a little bit weak, so... I'm going to go ahead and answer your question. How do I maintain my positivity or my positive attitude? Okay. Well, it's a big question, right? Because there's not just usually one simple answer. But I will try to give one simple answer. <laughs> I think, yeah. I think. Let us hear it. If I put into one sentence, 
is to make sure you have very clear priorities. What is important to you? And focus on that. Because so much in life is noise. It's all this stuff coming at us, right? And we can choose if we want to get involved with that, but we don't have to. Most of the time we have, cho we have a choice to focus on what we need to. And one of the biggest reasons that I stopped doing law enforcement, a uh, police officer, is that I got kind of sick of constantly being involved in other people's drama. Because <laughs> it's always like usually bad situations, right? So right now I'm very... It's tiring them, right? What's that? It's tiring. It's tiresome business job, right? Yes. And I have to... We got to move on to someone else. I, this is a great topic. <laughs> I could talk for a long time about this topic, but I want to make sure other people can get on too, okay? Okay. Uh, uh, lastly, and but not least, uh, tell me a quote that you let's t tell tell us uh, one of your favorite quotes, uh, quotations, right, from famous people. Tell us. Lastly, from one of your favorite quotes you have learned uh, okay. so far in your entire life. Wow, that just... sums up your perspective. Just one of them, I mean... Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, fortune, I have it right here on the wall in front of me. Fortune crowns the bold before the worthy. So just because you deserve something doesn't mean you're going to get it if you don't have the discipline to go out and get it. So good things usually will happen to people that go out and get it versus just sitting back and waiting for it. So I, I got to end this conversation right, about... <laughs> so we can move on to someone else. I'm sure I will see you okay, around. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'll see you too. Thank you for giving me time. Uh, thank Bye you. Bye for now. Okay. All right. Interesting questions. Great. Making me think. Wonderful. All right. So let's go. Next one, Manim Kumar. And before I ask him to join, um, if you guys want to send in a request, go ahead. I usually like to go back and forth between males and females, but if there aren't any females, I'll just go straight to the next guy. Um, to get the request, I think you leave the live quick, come back in, and then you can push the request button. All right. So let's see. All right. Oh. I put I put to to add Manim Kumar, and it says Manim Kumar is unable to join. Ooh, so I have no requests at the moment. I suppose I could ask randomly, but I don't know if that's fair to you guys. Hmm. Let's see. Erdim Lear Kument says, "Will we chat privately?" Well, if you're on Instagram. <laughs> There is no private. <laughs> oh, it's public, right? All right, let's try one more time. Manim Kumar. It says he's unable to join. All right, so I have no one else. No one else right now in the list. So if someone wants to join, send me a request. Let's see. Oh, okay, or this. If you can't send the request, just type in the comments that you want to talk. And I think I can talk, talk, type on your, or tap <laughs> on your comment, and I can say go live. So you can conversation here. So, okay, 00 Zin yep. <laughs> I'll send you a request. And if you want to come live, then you can say yes. If you don't want to, that's fine. All right. Joy DeVivre says, hello, Michael, how are you? Let's see, why private? There, okay, it's okay if you want to decline. See, Joy DeVivre, hello, Michael, how are you? I'm fabulous, thank you for asking. All right. Okay, so if no one wants to talk, that's fine. Because um, right now, nothing is private, right? Because it's going to go on, it's in on Instagram Live. There are 38, 30, 36 people watching. So, you're sh Marissa McCarty says, I would like it, but I'm shy. Oh, that's the best time to do it. When it's uncomfortable, we learn a lot. 
And you've probably seen me before, so I'm not threatening. I don't yell at people. <laughs> I make my students very comfortable. And then we talk about pictures. And if it's difficult, no worries. I'll walk you through it, and I will help you. Okay. Well, Popsy says, but really don't know how to join, okay? I'm going to send you a request. And if you want to join, say yes. If you don't, then you can decline it. Let's see. So Golab Mareza 1000 says, I want to talk, okay? I'm going to send you a request. Go live. And if you want to talk, then oh, it says unable to join. Let's see if we can try it a different way. It says unable to join. All right, Hamsat Amal says, I have a question. Should I hear every single word if I'm listening to someone? Well, I guess we don't always hear every word, right? Because if I say, you know, it was a great day outside and it was hot, but are you hungry? I gave you extra information, but you might just be focused on the part that was most important. Are you hungry? So I don't know if you hear every single word. Let's see. Golem raised one thousand says he wants to talk. Um, if I had one, two, three, four, I don't have nothing to say. No problem, because here's what we do. I'm going to show you. I'll show you a picture right now. And this is what we would talk about. So, if you come live with me right now, then just like with before, I will talk to you about this picture. We'll describe it. I'll ask you some questions. We'll do vocabulary. Right. So, I guess we don't have any requests. That's all right. I'm a little bit surprised. All right. Albina30988 says it should be night in the USA. Well, actually, it's morning in the USA, but I'm not in the USA right now. <laughs> I'm in Indonesia. So it's getting, it's night over here now. All right. All right. So I don't think we have anyone that's going to come live. Well, if you guys change your, your mind, just send me a request or type in the comments that you want to go live, and you can pop in with me. All right. So, tell you what, I'll just carry, carry on, and I will describe the pictures. All right. And you guys are welcome to join and talk with me if you want to. So, here we go. We have a picture. All right. Nutri Wolf says the kids are doing karate. Is that correct? I would say yes, that's right. Ben Yus Famu says Taekwondo. I agree with the, it's either red or orange belt. I think that's one of the belts of Taekwondo. So you could also say they are doing martial arts. All right. They are doing martial arts. All right. And we have two, see, Ashtiani76, they do karate. It's possible, yeah. You could say they're doing martial arts. You could say they are doing karate, right? And if we describe the, the girl, let's see, Marissa McCarty says, I think listening is better because I'm at the beginner. Oh, I think we have a request. I'll give it a try. I'm going to add you. It says, waiting for a cage a la Yari, and they declined. <laughs> uh, Maj Tish says, I don't think it's Taekwondo. Okay, and why don't you think it's Taekwondo? You may be right. I have no idea. I just found this picture on the internet. Erd, Erdem Lierkumen says, defense art. Yes. Duegui Tekin says, teacher, how can I do my speaking English? Speak. <laughs> Practice. Start talking. You can come live with me right now if you want, and I'll talk with you. All right. Afuana FNC says, come on, Indonesian people. Let's join. <laughs> everyone, wants, everyone wants everyone else to join, but people are too nervous. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised because 
right now it's free, right? There's no charge. It's a, there's some pressure, right? But in these moments when it's uncomfortable, oh boy, we learn a lot, right? All right. Okay, so let's go back to the picture because it doesn't look like anyone wants to join. That's up to you guys. Okay, let's see. Mar Marie Ebrahim Gahor says, what does it mean, red belt and yellow belt? Well, way back when, when I was a kid, I was in karate, and the belts are just levels of expertise. What level are they at, right? Um, so yellow is quite close to the beginning. The the bottom belt is white, and then I think it goes to yellow and then green, but it depends if you're doing karate or taekwondo, stuff like that. All right, Pray Endless said, the girl will beat the boy. <laughs> it's possible. So if we describe what's happening, we could say right now that the boy is throwing a punch. And I'm going to type that out. The boy is throwing a punch. And sometimes when we see the word throw, we think like, you know, you throw a ball or you're throwing a football or you're throwing a glass or something. But we can also use it and say the boy is throwing a punch. So it's kind of like he's throwing his fist, but, I mean, the fist is not going to come off his body. <laughs> oh, I think we have a request. I got to keep look, make sure I look at the comments. So it says waiting for KH Alayari 125. You're more welcome you're welcome to come. Whoop, I think we have someone. Hello. Let's see if if the connect, if the connection works. Hello, sir. Hi, how are you? Good. Can you tell me your name and where you're from? Uh, sorry, I think we have a weak connection. A weak connection. Okay. Well, we'll try. Um, where are you from? I'm from Iran. I don't. I don't think this connection is going to work. It's. I can't hear what you're saying. Let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm from Iran. From Iran. Okay. So, uh, salam. <laughs> salam. No, salam. <laughs> okay, so the How connection... Go ahead. Hey. All right. So the connection is kind of in and out. Would you... Uh, let's see. All right. I'm going to show you a picture. How about that? Yeah? Yes. Okay, and then you yeah. tell me what's you tell me what's in the picture. And I'm going to change the picture. So that was what we did before. Let's see. How about this yeah. one? Can uh, you? I think this oh. is a picture from from a car car day. Yeah. Okay. And uh, they're doing. What, what do you see in the picture right now? A lot uh, of what. There's the girls that they're doing karate. Oh, okay. All right, we could go back to that picture. Sure, no problem. So yeah. the girl and the boy are yeah. doing... Yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. A no. boy and a girl, they're, they are in a match, and they're doing karate. I think the rank of girl is higher than the boy. Okay. Right. I agree, because yellow belt is close to beginner, right? Yes, yes. Okay, and can you tell me what is the girl, oh, I'm sorry, there you go. What is the girl doing right now? Because the boy is punching, what is the girl doing? <laughs> the boy is going to attack and the girl is defending and um, I think she's going to attack after defending. Right, the girl, right, the girl is defending. Yeah. And because, you can also say, uh-huh, go ahead. Because uh, he's going to defend the punching of the boy. She's going to defend him against the punching of the boy. Right. So let's see. I typed a few things. 
We can say the girl is defending. We can also say the girl is blocking the punch. Yes, yes. We could say blocking, blocking the punch from the boy. From the boy. Okay. Right. Oop. One sec. All right. And what do you think is going to happen in this fight? Who, who, who will win? Uh, I think I, I, I think uh, the girl will be, will be win. Will, will win the match. Okay. All right. And why do you think the girl will win? Because uh, she's serious, more serious than the boy. <laughs> right. And she probably has more skills and maybe more experience, right? Yeah. So we could say the girl is more experienced. Let me put that on there. I'll move it up. And, and she has a good performance. Right. Okay. All right. All right, very do well done. And their uniforms are what color? In the uniforms. The uniforms. Uh -huh. Both of them are white. Both of them are, are white, right. Okay. All right, very well done. And let's see, so I'll switch it back around the camera. So at this point, uh, first, I ask people to talk about a picture. Now, I ask you, do you have any questions for me? Now, one question. Um, uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, I, I'm very happy uh, that I, I, I was alive with you on the camera, and, and you are a very well teacher, very good teacher. and. Uh, this is my pleasure to talk in with you. Okay. Well, I say thank you. Thank you very much for coming on. And all right. So I'm going to move to the next person, okay, and give someone else the chance to talk as well, okay? okay? All right. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. All right. Great. If you guys were in the class right now, I would say everybody give him a round of applause. All right. Let's see. I think I have someone else waiting. Afwan FNZ. Well, I just said sent you to add you, so it's waiting for Afwan Afwana FNZ. Let's see what happens. Let me take a drink. And other people are welcome to send in a request as well. All right, it's waiting right now. All right, so while we're waiting, hmm, I will wait for just a moment. And if nothing happens, then I will flip back around and we will go back to another picture. Hmm. All right, Marge T T S H says, bring me on. Okay, so let's try it. I sent you a request waiting for Maj TSH. Pray endless. Why did you drink water? <laughs> because, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, can you tell me your name and where you're from? Uh, I'm. Uh, my name is Majid and I'm from Iran, too. Oh, okay, wonderful. Uh, salam. <laughs> salam. Hala <laughs> chatara. Okay, so Allah Chatara means how are you? How are you doing? I I only sp just speak well. I only speak a couple words. <laughs> uh, one word. Salam. Yeah, right. Um, are you ready to see a picture? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. I will pick it, and you tell me what you see. Here it comes. Okay. And I'll try to get. I see a beautiful girl holding bags. Uh, okay, and yeah, what kind of bags? And is wearing, uh huh. And wearing a sunglasses. Okay. Yeah, and in a white uh, dress, and 
I don't know what to say more. <laughs> okay. This is all. Yeah. Yeah, very well done. And what kind of bags are they? What is the purpose of the bag? They are shopping bags. They Shop? are shopping bags. Right. And how many yeah. sto- how many stores do you think she went to? <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe a thousand st- a store. <laughs> maybe. I think she yeah. lo- I think she loves to go shopping. Yeah, yeah, it seems like that. <laughs> and how would you describe the expression on her face if you can see it? And she 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 thought she thinks that she is very fancy and she is very high class and she is very proud of herself, I think. Oh, that I, she, I think that's a that's wonderful that's, description. <laughs> <laughs> what I said I think that's a wonderful description because yeah, yeah. I agree with you yeah. and with the shape of her lips <laughs> and uh, the way <laughs> the way she is holding her glasses I think I think she is very happy yes and what do you think she's going to do next after this picture is finished I don't know maybe showing it to her friends and uh showing off these bags. I ah, think. yes. Yes. She is a show off. I'm just typing something here and I'll put the words on the screen. Yeah, yeah. Let me put it in the front. All right. Yeah, you could say she is a show off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she is a show off person. All right. So she wants everyone to know about all the stuff that she bought. Can Yeah, everyone. Can you tell me what is the location or the background? Location, I think she is in a, a photography session. Maybe she has uh, she is she is in a a, a store that uh, takes photographs of people. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, yeah, yeah. She is in a professional kind of a store that uh, takes photographs of people and uh, uh, give it, give them uh, give the, those photographs to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so we could say a photo shoot. Yeah, yeah, a photo photo shoot. Right. So maybe she's not actually shopping, huh? Maybe she just brought the bags. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And she is definitely going to post those photos on her Instagram account, I think, <laughs> after that. Right. So we could say that she wants attention and she's doing everything, yeah. everything she can to show off because she wants people to look at her. Exactly. All right. So how about, how about this? If this was from a movie, it's a scene in a movie. What do you think is the title of the movie? The title could be uh, a, a girl, a, a fancy girl. A the fancy title girl. Of the movie, sure. A fancy girl, yeah. All right. And how about maybe we could call the movie The Girl Who Stole My Heart and All My Money? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right, so I'm going to flip back around, and very well done, very well done. Um, I I asked you you a whole bunch of questions, so if you have a a question for me, go ahead. No, I I think, uh, uh, Tijer, do you know Dr. Jeff McQuillan from ESL Podcast? What is the name again? Uh, Dr. Jeff McQuillan. Dr. Yes, that podcast is very popular. Okay. In, uh, in English. And you look like him in <laughs> face, in appearance, and the way you teach person, you teach us. Yeah, okay. I think uh, the way you uh, teach is very good, <laughs> and uh, your accent and uh, everything, I think uh, you remind me of him. And I miss him, and now I have a replacement for him, and uh, I have found that. And thank you, and thank God for that. And I'm curious, 
Um, I'm going to type on the screen, and if you could help me spell the name so I can look it up later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, please uh, search on the web ESL podcast. Oh, ESL ESL pod. dot com. All right, let's see. ESL pod dot com is the name of the website. And I have learned so many things from uh, this web, this this website and the courses that they offer. Okay, well, I'll uh, check, I'll check it out. Maybe I have a twin that I don't know about. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. And <laughs> he is how, your twin. How old is this guy? Uh, he is, I think, uh, maybe around fifty years old, and oh. uh, he had top. He has uh, stopped uh, his courses, and he oh. doesn't uh, get any lessons out anymore. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. I will check it out. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, too. Okay. Well, yeah. I th think that's it. Such Go a ahead. pleasure to uh, talk to you. Ah, likewise. Thank you very much. I appreciate your very bold and daring. <laughs> well thank done. You. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Goodbye. Right. Goodbye. All right. Let me just take a look at my timer here because if I go too long, then oh, I'm getting very close to the one hour, and I have something scheduled after this, so I'm going to have to finish very soon. So, uh, like I told you guys multiple times, I will put this live on YouTube. And uh, it will be available for 24 hours. Ah, now you guys send all the requests. <laughs> uh, so I appreciate the request to go live, but right now I'm out of time. So I would urge you next time <laughs> put in your requests. And so, yep, I have 28 seconds remaining. Instagram is very on time. Okay, so this is it for now. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, day, morning, wherever you are. <laughs> Take care. We'll see you next time.